Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna try for the first time the Dinesa Myrex Vision Cream Cover 2-in-1 Foundation Plus Concealer. I have already done my morning routine. I have all my skincare applied and I'm gonna use one of the products that I really trust every time that I try something new and I know that it really works in my skin, which is the Bobbi Brown Vitamin and Rich Face Base. And I just took a little bit of it in my nail because I have a little bit of longer nails now. And I didn't bring a spatula to take the portion that I needed for my complexion. So I'm gonna just rub this into my entire complexion. I ordered the shade N04. I hope that this match me well because the shades that this particular foundation offered, they were really, I don't know, kind of different and difficult for me to choose one. So I really, really, really hope that I did a good job. This is, this is half an ounce, by the way. And in my case, I think that it is plenty because I have a lot of other foundations and sometimes we just throw away our makeup because it is just expired and not because we use it entirely. So it has a pump. I took just one full pump of it. I think I'm gonna use another one, which is rare because usually I can just be okay with just one, but for, I don't know, let's just just use one and to see if that is enough because this is a more full coverage foundation and I think that for the way that I like my complexion products to look, I think that I'm just gonna stick to this amount. So I have already dotted in my entire complexion. I'm gonna use one of my favorite brushes to blend this in the center of my face. I like a little bit of more coverage. That's why I'm just pressing the product here. And yes, it has a lot more coverage than I would normally go for. I'm not mad at it because I'm just making sure to just blend it properly to get a coverage that I'm comfortable with. But if this is a product that if you like coverage more than I, this is an option. I think it looks a little bit yellow in my complexion and it's supposedly to be a neutral one. That's what I meant with that the shades were really strange. But still, it doesn't look bad, it's just different. This is what are we looking so far. I really like the luminosity that I get and I get this from the foundation and also for the base that I use. Secondly, I like the fact that I can just sheer it out as much as I want. That is a plus. Sheer it or just build it. I'm going to apply concealer that I also know how it works just to see how everything performs with one another. And I'm gonna use the Revlon Photo Ready Candid Concealer. I use the shade 010. I'm gonna let it dry just a bit. And I'm gonna use the Sephora 57 brush to blend it. I'm gonna start first with the dot that I apply on the end of my eye. My bad, I should have said that I have a balanced or a normal skin type, which means that I can use almost any foundation in myself, almost any because I have a tried a couple and I don't like how they look on me. Maybe it's a personal preference, but I, it emphasizes a lot of stuff that I don't like. So besides a couple, I can use almost any foundation, but Still, I have some preference in the finished and the coverage that I like. I'm just pressing first because this is the area where I really, really want a little bit of coverage because it's the darkest spot 
and my entire complexion. And what I have left over, just a little bit because I look sick there. So far, it blended really, really nice, really easily. They are working gloriously with one another. That means that the foundation is a really good team player. I have done a couple of more complexion products. This is how everything is looking at the moment. Everything has worked so, so good with one another. This foundation, it is a team player, and what I use also is a good team player because it haven't moved or lift or anything my foundation. And now I'm going to set my complexion. And to set my complexion, I'm gonna use this by Terry. This is the Hyaluronic Hydro Powder. This is in the shade Colorless. It has been quite a time since I have used this product. And I wanted a product that it didn't um, give more coverage to the complexion that it won't change the color also of the foundation that it stay true to what she really is and this is that type of a product I'm going to use this a MAC 150 brush I have a little bit of powder this is as much as I picked and I'm gonna make sure that all the bristles are, are coated by using the lead and I'm just going to press it into my complexion and then you can see it has already mattified a little bit the complexion but you can see a little bit of the luminosity just a touch of highlighter that I use I'm not someone that is into a lot of highlighters because of the way that I like my complexion to look and the products that I use. So this is one side of my face set. This is the other one. If you're into this really juicy, healthy, nice looking skin, you do you. I live in a tropical island with a lot of humidity and a lot of climate change. So I need to set my complexion in order to make sure or to ensure that I have longevity. But let me just finish up the face and we are gonna come back to just do a recap of my thoughts. So, have, so sweet, so I have finished up my entire complexion. This is how I'm looking so far. I will put you here the link to the video where I um, develop this entire look. It is my Boxy Charm unboxing for the month of August. If you're asking yourself which could be, that's the one everything worked really 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 good i have been wearing this for more than an hour and the reflection is the luminosity that you see it isn't that i'm greasy or um, my oils are coming through it's just my base with my foundation and this is the kind of a finish that i really 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 enjoy at first, I thought that this shade was too yellow for me, but as soon as I finish everything, it looks good. Really, really good in myself. As you can see, it really matched my complexion. And also, I'm a makeup artist, so this, this is compact enough so I can put it in my kit. And since it's a product that I can build up the coverage, it is perfect. Danisa Myrix developed products thinking of everything and I haven't tried anything yet that I can say that I don't like. She is a master in that. I'm gonna put in the description box below everything that I use. So sweet. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so. I really appreciate it. And if you want to get notified every time I upload a video, press the notification bell. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.